Hey everyone, in this lesson we're going to answer the question, what are arrays, particularly in WordPress? So even outside of the context of programming, we might hear that a car is available in a wide array of colors. So let's go ahead and think of an array as a collection, or you'll also hear an array be talked about as a list. So let's get to our code. So here we are in our index.php file that lives in our theme folder. So let's go ahead and delete all this test code from our last lesson. And let's try something new. If we go back to our first PHP lesson, you'll remember we learned how to create a variable. So let's try to create a variable now. Let's go into PHP mode and close out of it. And in between, we can create a variable, my name. This variable name isn't special. I just made it up. It could be anything like my dog, my pet, anything. But since I'm trying to store my name, it makes sense to call it my name. So now we can use that variable anywhere in this page. So then we could go down here into HTML mode and say p low my name is, and then go into PHP mode again, close out. And in between, echo my name, semicolon, and then close out of the paragraph, save it, test it, so we do get hello, my name is Jose. So this is an example of a very simple variable that only contains a one single little bit of data, my name, but what if we wanted to store multiple names in a single variable. That's where we can use arrays. So let's go ahead and start over. Go into PHP mode, close out of it. So let's say we want to do something like names instead of my name. Could have been any other name like people or cities, but because we want names, it makes sense to name it names since we are going to store multiple values, plural. So now we could say something like array. So after the first parentheses, we could store as many names as we want. So we could do some like Joe, comma, J, comma, Bob. You get the idea. We could store as many names as we would want. In PHP, an array is a special type of data. An array is a list or collection of multiple values. So let's imagine down here in our HTML, we want to access one of those names. So let's say we have a paragraph and we want to say, hello, my name is, and then the name. Hello, my name is, and then open and close PHP. And in between, we could say something like echo names and then square brackets. And in between, we would do zero if we wanted to access Joe, since arrays are zero indexed. So the first item is zero. So if I wanted to access the third item, it would be zero, one, two. Let's try two. Save. Go back. We should get Bob. And we do get Bob. If we change it back to zero, and we do get Joe. So why would we want to hold multiple values in a single variable? What's the point? What's the advantage? Well, there's several, but the biggest reason is looping. So what is looping? Well, let's imagine we want to do something once for each item in our array or collection. So what if we wanted to output this sentence, hello, my name is blank, once for every item in our array? So one way is we could just copy and paste, right? Something like this. And that would give us all three sentences. That's not very efficient. Instead, what we can do is leverage the abilities arrays give us and do something once for each item in our array. So let me show you what I mean. So let's practice a basic loop first. So let's say we want a list item that will count to 100. So let's say we want something like this. But this would take forever, right? So let's do something using a loop. So how does it work? Let's do that here. So while something is true, we're going to continue doing something. 
so whatever lives within our curly braces will happen again and again until whatever's within the parentheses evaluates to false so again this is what i mean let's say here we have a count variable and it's assigned the number one so remember the goal is counting from one to a hundred so within our while loop we could say something like as long as the following is true continue doing this we could say as long as count is less than a hundred let's echo a list item instead of hard coding something we're going to give it our count and right after this is done we're going to increment count by one and we could do count plus plus, which is the same as doing count plus one. This is just a little more cleaner. And this is going to add one to one, then it will be two. Then the while loop will run again since two less than a hundred is true. And then it will print two, and then it will increment count by one again, which will make it three. And it will continue all the way till 99. And if we want it to be to 100, we would really do this. 101 and this will make sure that once it hits 100 it will still print it out but once it hits 101 it won't print it out so let's save this and refresh and then over here and we see a list item from 1 to 100 so now that we've seen a simple while loop let's try something a bit trickier so let's erase this so let's loop through our array of names once for each item in our collection. So this is how we can do it. While parentheses, curly brackets, we need a count variable. Count, and we'll set it equal to zero instead of one since arrays are zero base. And to access the first item, we would need zero. So within our curly brackets, what we're going to do for each item in the collection is echo list item close list item and hi my name is names and then we'll square brackets since we don't want to hard code a number we want to use our count variable so in between the square brackets let's just say count so the first time the loop runs it will be zero and then we need an increment so under here we're going to do count plus plus which will increment zero to one and then give us j then it will increment it again and give us bob so then our while condition we want to say something like count less than so instead of hard coding we could have php count the number of items in our array so we say as long as count is less than so we use a php tool named count so this count function will take our array names and it'll know how many items are in our array and as long as our count variable is less than the number of items we have in array this will continue going and we could test that refresh so we got an error here line a and forgot our dollar sign here save go back refresh and we do get our three paragraphs with each value passed in each time so we could even add something extra like some more names save it and we get those quickly printed out so if this isn't your first time programming you might ask why am i using a while loop you might rather i use a for each loop which is a good question but i want us to be familiar with the while loop because that's what wordpress uses to loop over real content like posts and pages so instead of this worthless list of names imagine we had an array or collection of blog posts and we wanted to loop through those and display them on our website for our visitors and that's exactly what we'll be looking at in our next lesson probably going to be the most fun so far let's keep it going and i'll see you guys there